What is going on guys? So today I uh, decided to do the worst thing SRT owners can possibly do to their cars and uh, that is replacing the control arms. Um, luckily my car is very clean for the mileage and uh, there's not that really there's not that much rust on my car. Um, so I am actually currently doing it now. I have actually gotten off the I got off the left front control arm, and then these are just both the outer tie rods. Um, I got all new control arms, I got all new inner tie rods, outer tie rods, new slave cylinder, um, new master slave, and all that. Um, actually, the other day I was driving to work, and my AFR sensor went out, so bought that, and then control arm on the passenger side took a shit. And then my master slave actually blew out, so I was stranded there for a little bit. I had to somehow limp it home. But as you can see, these things are cooked. These are definitely the OEM ones that came out of the car before. And those have around 220 plus thousand miles on them. The auto tie rods aren't bad. I changed those a couple thousand miles ago. But got everything off so far. The only thing that's being a pain is the inner tie rod. Um, I'll be able to get that off eventually. Uh, it was just kind of being a pain, so I started taking apart the other side. So, right now, I got the outer tie rod off. The inner tie rod I haven't got to yet. Um, but the lower control arm, I'm still still fighting with. I had to take the bottom, bottom uh, motor mount off and all that. So, yeah, hopefully we can knock this out. I would use... I cut myself. I would use the lift at my job, which would make it a shit ton easier. But unfortunately, I'm off today and I can't drive the car because, just like I said, the mass sleeve blew out. So I'm still waiting for that to come in the mail. Um, but it's actually a nice day outside. But I have a very busy day today, so I'm trying to knock out everything today and get done with everything as fast as possible. <laughs> This thing is gone. Yeah, this uh, this is definitely no bueno. So this is not supposed to uh, come out. That is definitely not supposed to come out of there. As you can see, that definitely has a lot of play. That is gone. Um, everything else on this thing was blown. Literally, it is insane. These other new ones, just like I showed you before. So, yeah, those uh, those new ones will be going in. Now I have to uh, fight with the inner tie rods. Um, just like I said, those are being a pain to take out. I gotta put the new outer uh, tie rods on, and I gotta put the new control arms on, and then bolt everything back up, and then I'm gonna move on to taking the slave and the master slave off. So... Okay, so... Of course, you know, just like any install, nothing really goes right. So, um, if you look here at the OEM bushings, these, this metal spacer inside is flush with both the bushings. So this just slides right into the subframe. Well, these new ones, the spacers stick out pretty far. So... I actually have to uh, take my Dremel, grind this down just a tiny bit, so that way this hole lines up in the subframe so I can bolt everything together. 
And now you guys may think, oh, you know, grinding that down is just going to be a bunch of slop. No. Well, when you tighten down this bolt, it's going to bring the, the, the piece of the metal on the subframe in and it's going to clamp down onto the actual control arm. So it will work. It's just, that's why you really don't cheap out on parts like that. But this was just like a quick, easy, you know, parts find or whatever because my control arm was absolutely about to snap. So I don't really care if you spend 200 bucks or 60 bucks, as long as you get the right part in there and it works, it works, so. I got the whole passenger side put together. The only thing I didn't put on yet is the sway bar. Um, I just called my job and I just asked them if they can get me new stab links and new sway bar bushings. Um, only because these are all crusty and you know, while it's off, I might as well replace them and then that way almost literally everything on this car will be replaced. Um, the only other thing I do want to replace on this car eventually is the rear arms um, Just to get those done and then I also want to sand down the surface rust on the subframe And then I want to undercoat the rest of the car and then this thing will literally be rust free so I just have to get this driver's side put together and then and, and then I can start pulling the master slave out and get all that ran and get the new one put in when it comes in the mail. And then I should be able to start driving this thing again. And then I can actually get this thing tuned once my AFR sensor comes in and then everything should be good. So guys, quick little update, of course. I had to make a auto zoom run, like usual. So I had to get new bolts for the lower control arm. And then I had to get these little fittings and just picked up super glue just to get. Um, so I got all the suspension on. Now I got the master slave and the slave cylinder in. Um, but mind you, my clutch line somehow grounded itself onto the trans and it burned a little pinhole into the line. So it caused, you know, fluid to leak out of the line and then I lost, you know, complete pressure to the pedal. So. I wasn't trying to pay a hundred bucks for the line, so I tried JB welding it and electrical taping it, which it worked for the first couple, you know, presses or whatever, and then it busted. So um, now what I'm gonna try is I'm going to cut the line, and then I'm going to put in one of these, one of these fittings, and then I'm going to use two hose clamps, and hopefully that holds. Um, I am going to order a new line um, just in case just to just to replace this line whenever that line comes in but I kind of need a quick fix to drive the car at least up to my job to do an alignment and then bolt check everything um, so yeah um, also I took the sway bar off because I told my job to order me in new stab links and new sway bar bushings because if you see here these these are pretty old um they're just they're just not good anymore so i got new ones coming in this is the old these are the old stabling bushings these are just gone so just like i said replacing everything as i go if it's off the car might as well, might as well replace it which i kind of messed up and didn't buy the line so i am going to order one um tonight but i am going to try to rig this line up to see if i can get it to work all right guys well i got bad news um today was going good all day was busting everything out on the car got all the suspension on everything tightened down and whatnot master slave in slave cylinder in and uh the slave line um i tried fixing it 
I tried like 6,000 different ways. I tried uh, JB welding it, didn't work. Tried cutting and splicing in a uh, double-sided flare fitting, didn't work. It just kept snapping the fittings or the line wouldn't stay on to the fitting. It just keeps popping off because there's so much pressure. Um, so um, basically at a standstill, uh, my new, I just ordered a line like five minutes ago. It says that it won't be here till Monday, which sucks. Um, cause I was planning on getting out of here tomorrow, but now I have to wait till Monday. Um, I mean, as you can tell by my face, I am like very upset about it. Um, I miss driving this car. It's just been giving me problems left and right. But at the end of the day, you know, this car is going to be mint. It's going to be, you know, pulling hard when it's tuned and everything. So things happen, um, things break. So can't, can't do anything about it. So now I got to wait till the new line comes in. And then once the new line comes in, put it in, bleed the system, and then we'll be able to drive it. So stay tuned and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.